Hi friends, my name is Kailash Sharma. I am going to show you the demo of duplicate invoice identifier tool. Let me give you a brief about this tool first. Duplicate invoice identifier is an MS Access based tool which helps to identify duplicates from any Excel based data. The tool support up to 10 conditions and 25 types of matching conditions to find the exact duplicate. You can also define formatting condition to first format the data before checking the duplicates. Let's have a look at the tool now. Here is a copy of the tool. For the purpose of demo, we have also got some dummy data, current and historic data. Let's have a look. So if you see here, uh, both the data, both looks to be similar. Uh, this is a current data and this is historic. So what we want to do is we want to compare this current data versus historic data and find out which all records are matching. And uh, we have created some differences in the, the data as well. So if you see here, look at the invoice date, you will find uh, these are different as well as if you notice the vendor number or vendor name actually you will find them different. So we have intentionally created some differences. The yellow record, which is part of the historic data, as well as in current, is actually a duplicate. Even here also we have, you can notice there are extra characters at the end, which is hash A, as well as date is also a little bit different, but that's intentionally we have created. Okay. And in fact, look at the amount, it is, 436.71 while it is 436.1 so this is a normal invoice processing activity where we want to compare our recent data which we are processing today or this week versus the historic data and identify if there is any duplicate that we have processed so that is our current data and historic data can be more than a day or week or in fact it can go up to years okay so we will open the tool first time when you will open the tool you will see a yellow bar so you have to enable the content and we'll click on home so this tool comes as blank so first it needs the data so we are going to import the data so using this manage data option so we have few options here and what we are going to use is import from Excel file. We'll select which file to import. We want to import first current. It can be any other, any way. You can import historic first and later on current. That also you can do. There are few uh, note points which are mentioned here. Data will be imported from active sheet of the selected file. Row one of the sheet will be considered as column header before importing new data existing data from the tool will be cleared and only 10 columns can be imported from the file tool can read only 20, 255 characters from each cell so these are few uh, conditions on which the tool runs let's browse the file so we'll select current data click on import We've received a confirmation message that it is imported. However, there is one more task we have to do. We have to match the column names and their data along with the data types. So if you see here, invoice date, if you look at column two, which is invoice date, these are date columns. So instead of text, I'm going to change it to date time. Similarly, vendor ID, which is column three here is a number. Amount is also number. So that way, now we are going to import the same thing, historic data. Okay, uh, now we will again uh, map the data type. So invoice date is a date column. This is number and this is a number. Done, we will close the window. So if you see here, we have got both the data imported. In current data, we have nine records as well as historic data also, we have nine records. Now the data is there in the tool. We have to define what is our condition of duplicates. 
so let's try with the very simple uh, one first we will say where our first column which is invoice number is exactly the same so what it is going to do is it will go and check each record in the current data versus all records of historic data and check wherever the invoice number is found to be exactly the same it will mark those records in the current as duplicate so we'll see how it works analyze you can see it says eight duplicates found so let's export and check so here it is notice this these colors are the the current data and non colored is historic data and how you know that how to read this data is based on match number so let's add a filter and say match number one so if you see what we given the condition is invoice number has to be exactly same so if you see here the invoice number is matched but you will notice that the dates are not matching right same way um, let's look at another one you will always find that whatever conditions that you have given is always matching but but it is not checking the risk thing we want to check other things as well to find the exact duplicate right so we will further elaborate the condition we will say the date has to be nearby plus minus two day it should not be more than that difference okay so we will extend our condition and invoice date is plus minus two days or five days depends on what we want to achieve okay analyze it see four duplicates now if you will export and find you will see that all the records will have the exact invoice number and the the invoice date will be plus minus five days here and there okay we will see so if you see match number one versus match number one so invoice number is exactly matching and dates are matching is there any record where, where we have a difference of days no exactly the same so uh, there is one more thing that we will do is we will use a formatting option okay this time so here it is exact match you can also depending on the data type the options will be enabled you can remove this special character if your data has got special character and it it has got a text then it can remove the special characters and then it can perform the the task same way if it is a numeric column you, you can actually uh, use this other options removing the decimal values or converting the number to absolute okay these options can also be used so let's see is there any difference comes before because of that no difference let's also use instead of exact we will say the invoice number need not to be exactly same even if it is 80 percent matching i want to look at it okay we have got one extra duplicate this time let's say let's export and see so if you notice here match number one you will notice that invoice number are more or less same however there are two extra characters here okay and if you notice here also the invoice date is also plus minus five days within that boundary right so we are able to get this duplicate but so this is this looks to be correct however what about rest so if we look at it okay so second record we are having completely different vendor name so let's enhance our tool condition that vendor name has to be also either exact or we'll actually make a different option which is similar so we'll say and vendor name is also 80 percent should be matched let's analyze we are getting less duplicate we are going to more nearby accurate data actually or results so let's have a look so here we have this record see if you look at it there is an there was an extra dot in the vendor name still it was able to capture right but the problem is here right now 
even though vendor name and everything else was matching but there is a huge difference in the amount right so we don't want that so we also want that amount should also be plus minus one uh, uh one dollar or one rupee like that okay so let's further change the condition saying the amount has to be plus minus one analyze it very now getting only two duplicates but in the initially in the video i mentioned that there is only one duplicate so if you look at it the customer name is different for the second record rest all looks to be same but the customer name is different so we don't want that also so what we will uh, further say the customer name has to be even as exact match or a similar depends uh, that how you want to define so i will use it exact this time let's analyze it we are getting one duplicate let's see is it meeting all the conditions that we have given so here invoice number similar so what we have mentioned is 80 percent match so if you see most of the characters are matching right date has to be also plus minus five days the vendor name has to be similar amount has to be plus minus one and customer name has to be exactly the same so that way we are able to to get that there is a duplicate that we are going to process or we have processed in the current data which was already processed in past so this tool can actually help you to find out this kind of uh, duplicate so that you can avoid duplicate payments that's all about this tool thank you very much for watching this video